Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the final figure that I won from that uh, my latest Toreba wins and unboxing uh, video. Um, so this one is a Dragon Ball Z figure and it is a uh, Gogeta figure as well. This is the first one that I won. So if you want to check out how I won it, uh, just head to my channel and uh, look for the latest Toreba uh, video. So all in all, a pretty cool looking box. Uh, you can see the figure on the front and what other figures come in the collection. So let's get the figure out. So this one is a little bit smaller than the two Naruto figures that I won. Uh, this is the only Dragon Ball Z one that I've won. Um, but I kind of like the character Gogeta. Um, I know a lot of people don't, um, but I reckon he looks pretty cool. So uh, I remember when I watched um, Dragon Ball GT, that copped a lot of hate, but I actually liked the character. So I thought I would go for the figure. All right, so as usual, the figures come in different pieces. So a little bit of construction is uh, required. So it's really just three bits. Uh, so it is the, the head bit and the torso bit, uh, and then uh, followed by the, um, the legs and the tail. So the paint job on this is really well done as well. I, I think the skin is a tad yellow, but maybe that's for like fading purposes or UV purposes. Maybe it goes um, a little more um, subdued over time. Um, and you can see where the legs actually fit into the torso bits and it's uh, really well painted as well. And the hair is a really nice color. The eyes are actually straight. Uh, so let's move on to the bottom piece and again another really well painted um, piece of I guess plastic <laughs> uh, and you can see it has like a little notch for the stand and also the notch for the tail um, and yeah let's put it together so it's pretty easy um, it will need a little bit of force to actually get these pieces in uh, and because their hair is so spiky you kind of stab your hand doing it so maybe some wear some gloves or something if you have got one of these figures and you need to, need to put it together um, but it should if you wiggle it around it should slowly move down um, that little notch thing uh, and come together but it was I had a hard time getting it flush against uh, the belt itself and this figure is made by Ban Presto and you're supposed to only be able to win it through claw machines in Japan. But I mean, you can find these figures in um, your local like pop culture sort of shop. Um, I know here in Australia, you can get one at, if you're in Melbourne at High Point, there's a store, I forgot what it's called, it's Hot Something. Um, it's not Hot Topic, we don't have that here in Australia. But you can actually find a whole lot of these Ban Presto claw machine figures there if you're looking for one and you don't want to play on Toreba. So this is the little tail that we have and it matches the fur on his arms. So again, it's got a little key system again and it just fits in much easier than the torso piece. And you can see I haven't got the torso piece flush against each other. So I think I just gave up with that. Um, but anyway, let's move on to the other pieces. So one is the rest of his belt and it just sort of looks like it's flapping in the wind, like he's hovering um, or flying. Uh, so that's again got a little key system thing that you just lock it in and it is a really nice paint job again. Um, it's kind of like a softish hard plastic where you can move around a little bit um, but yeah it looks really great and I'm actually trying to put it on the wrong way. No it's the right way. All right so it looks like it's hovering around so pretty cool figure. And then we have the base and the stand uh, for the base in the back of the, uh, the doll. So they went for a pretty simplistic looking base for this figure. I don't know if all the other Dragon Ball Z figures have plain bases or not, I, because this is my only doll. Um, so all you do is snap it into place and it um, actually has the two little prongs on the foot as well uh, that you can put into the base and it will stand and you can display your figure. So I think it looks really well. And um, yeah, I, I really like the quality of these figures and Ban Presto is really, really good quality and I do recommend, um, you know, any of their figures. Alrighty, so let's have a quick overview of this figure. So in this lighting, it's uh, coming off as quite yellow, but I don't think it is that yellow uh, in real life, but it looks quite yellow, the skin. Um, but yeah, you can see how it just 
perfectly stands and it kind of looks like he's flying. Um, the hair colour is pretty true to the figure as well. Uh, so this is the side view and you can see how it looks like again he's flying. Um, <laughs> sorry my cats are going crazy in the background. Um, so we turn him around to the back view and again pretty stock standard back view. Uh, I really like the way the hair do hair's done. Uh, it looks really great. I really want to get more Bam Presto figures. I think they're pretty good quality and um, it has a lot of uh, figures from the animes that I like. So I have a Naruto one coming as well. So I actually bought that one. So it's a funny story. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so that is it from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any video requests, you can leave it in the comments down below. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Nat. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!